the University of Ibadan, UI was founded in 1948. The Department of History was one of the foundation departments where history was offered as a course of study. This was a good beginning and a reflection of how highly our fathers valued history. But there was a twist of events some time later. Because the University of Ibadan was an offshoot of the University of London and Nigeria was a British colony before her independence, all the topics or sub-courses of history in the university were purely European. As a matter of fact, even history at the primary and secondary school levels were also foreign history. The African history was not given any consideration. This pattern of study continued until someone you would call a historian par excellence, Kenneth Dickey, took a lecturing job in UI after his doctorate degree from the University of London. To Kenneth Dickey, not having African history in our curriculum was most unacceptable. So he began to mobilize his colleagues to see how they could lobby policies and incorporate African history into school curricula at all levels. As laudable as his intention was, there was a challenge concerning the non-availability of writers for African history. And so, Kenneth Dickey began to groom a class of like-minded people among his students and other colleagues who began to research into African history and also write history textbooks for students reading. To say that this era was a moment of glorious educational achievement in Nigeria, judging by the caliber of people in the camp of Dr. Kenneth Onwuka Dike, is to say the obvious. A school of thought posited that they gave UI the prominence it enjoys till date. History will not forget in a hurry names such as J.F. Adeajai, J.C. Anini, Obaro Ikime, Biobaku, Tekena Tamuno, and a host of others too numerous to mention. Some time later, the number of scholars from other universities within and outside Nigeria 
who believed in African history, became very large. Consequently, the first academic society in Nigerian University, the Historical Society of Nigeria, was founded in 1955. At the takeoff of the Historical Society of Nigeria, the passion, deep knowledge, sound intellect, and sterling leadership qualities of the founding fathers were evidently conspicuous. The fame of the association traveled so widely that when there were vacancies in some exalted administrative positions, including that of university vice chancellors, ministerial or ambassadorial positions in the country, these foremost historians were naturally the right candidates. Unfortunately, it is the same series of appointments that led to a major decline in the impact of the association in our society. There were other factors that also affected people's interest in history. With all these challenges, History was no longer a beloved subject for secondary school students and at the tertiary levels, people no longer desired to study history. Eminent personalities in the education sector had reacted to the danger over neglect of history, but all their warnings were not seriously considered. The society of Nigeria is not doing badly at all. At least right from the time uh, some of us became lecturers in the Department of History, and when we became members of the Historic Society of Nigeria, also the past administration have always been taking, uh, uh, trying to bring this to uh, uh, consciousness of Nigeria, right from the Baro Kime up to when Oshefu took over, and my period, and the period that Professor CBN Okobo. We are not doing badly. Mentoring plays a big role in bringing up the younger ones. Call them, ask them, look, what are you working on now? When was the last publication? And so on. We need to ginger, to ginger also the younger ones up. Just give them, encourage them to do some more writing, some more research. In the midst of this, some students who luckily find themselves in history department today have testimonies that are most encouraging.
As concerted efforts are continually directed towards bringing history into the mainstream of our education once again, the 60th Annual Conference of the Historical Society of Nigeria will be a good platform to once again strategize on what to do. While we use this occasion to wish every participant of the conference a rewarding deliberation, it is just in order to ask, who is it that says history is not a good course to study? Has anyone bothered to ask how people with memory loss feel? To neglect history is to confine us to a state of complete memory loss. The nation that does not have history has no basis for existence. History is about development, it's about relationship building, it's about knowing your past to enable you to prepare for the future. A medical doctor would ask for the medical history of a patient to be able to prescribe correctly. Who then says history is irrelevant? We all live in communities and speak languages that are inherited from the past. We adjust to our complex cultures, traditions and religions that are not created by the present generation. The people use technologies that they have not themselves invented. Every person carries a gene which has evolved during the entire lifespan of the human species. We all are products of past events. So. Understanding the linkages between past and present is absolutely basic for a good understanding of the condition of being human. History is not just useful, it is essential.
as we attend the 60th conference of this society, we must all bear in mind that whether we like it or not, every man is a living history. We today appreciate our fathers in the study of history. The question is, what will the next generation say about us? Shall we allow history to die in our own time? God forbid! Can history rise again? Certainly! This is the responsibility of the 60th Conference of the Historical Society of Nigeria.